What is this thing? Watch me build this huge maze in today's video. This is Coaster Master and I'll be seeing you on the other side. Hi friends, this is Coaster Master here. Today, I am going to be giving the brain section an awesome new update. Yes, I did say I was done with the brain section in episode 3. Yep, episode 3. But, you know, I just thought that one cafe looked so bland. And plus, it was wooden and everything else right here is all metal. Yeah, it is. So I just thought, you know what, why not give it a metal upgrade, you know, did you see what I did there? Okay, that is what I'm aiming for. Anyways, I'm gonna give it new metal, I'm gonna give it a new metal look with new metal wall pieces. Hmm, sounds like an RMC conversion of a building. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. Oh God. And like right from the start, my fears have defined themselves. Yeah, I mean, it is extremely difficult to make paths, especially without getting them to connect. And you know, it's a maze. And throughout this video, I was, sorry, throughout the recording, I was looking at that piece of paper, you know, just to see what the maze looked like and to see if I was doing it wrong or if I was doing it correctly. Yeah, it was extremely difficult. I mean, it's so hard to make sure these paths don't connect. I mean, look at that. There. Okay. Now I'm gonna just... I'm gonna just let my recording play itself out. I'm pretty sure I messed up here. Yeah, I did. Doesn't look right. Yep. This is so weird, right? And I know you'll probably be thinking that, wait, what are you gonna be doing with the flat rides, Coaster Master? I'm just gonna leave them for now. But what about the cafe? Yes, I am gonna be adding a couple of stalls in this maze, Not nothing too big, but just a couple of stalls. I haven't decided on what it is yet. I mean, I have, but I'm not going to tell you just yet in the video. And, yep. Yeah. So now, one really irritating thing about this is that when you, make the when you make the path so close to each other, you have to make sure it's 89 degrees and not 90 degrees. Because if it's 90 degrees, it's bound to connect with another path. Therefore, all the paths should be angled at 89 degrees and that just messed up my whole structure. But, well, I finished the maze. So, yeah, don't worry. This will end up in a finished product. I am just concerned about whether it's going to be possible or not to, you know, make it look like a maze. What is that? Okay. And as you saw... As you saw me do that regretfully, no, you didn't see my regret, but you saw me just delete all those paths because it's so easy to make a mistake when you're making a maze, especially one as large as this one. Oh, did I tell you the dimensions? They are 44 meters by 72 meters. Yep, that is a massive maze. I mean, just look at that. I've already made a little bit of progress and I'm happy with that. But, yeah, this was a lot harder than I thought it would be. I mean, I've never made a maze before. That's all I can say. Yeah, it was extremely difficult. Easily the hardest path work I ever, I've ever done. Yeah, hardest part. It's easily the hardest path work I've ever done. Oh my God. I mean, did you ever think path work would be this difficult? Yeah, I'm just keeping everything at an 89 degree angle and not 90 degrees 
that itself was a challenge Whew, but i finished it oh why can't you turn 89 degrees here come on like what's obstructing it i still don't know the answer to that well at least i finished that bit and i'm pretty happy with how this is coming out so can't complain and yeah i mean as you saw in the intro the maze did look really I don't know how to put it. I don't know how to put it with, without making it look too scary. I don't know. It looks like it should play with your mind. That's all I can say. Yep, plays with your mind. Perfect way to say it. All right. Now, oh, okay. I have made a lot of traps in this maze. A lot. I mean, enough traps to make someone go crazy. And to think that I am going to be adding shops in here. It's going to be impossible for guests to figure out where the shops are, really. Okay. So now that I get the hang of it, now that I've gotten the hang of it. No, that's wrong English. Now that I got the hang of it, yep. Yeah. Now that I got the hang of it, <sighs> the paths became slightly easier. Whoop. What is that? I have no idea what just happened. And let me just say a couple of words about that. How can there be running water in the Arctic? I mean, look at all the snow in our park. It is frozen. How can you have running water? I mean, sure, there's the Arctic Sea, but there, from what I remember, in that water body I just saw, I saw flowing water, I saw waves, and I didn't see a single iceberg. Like, that just makes no sense. Okay, back to our maze. I've finished the path work and I'm starting the maze, really. I'm just making the building now. Oh, God. Yeah. And it's like, while I was making the paths, I was unsure about how it would end up. But now that I'm adding the building, it's just coming together quite well, really. And I'm happy with that. It looks nice. Oh, God. And just to show you how much of a bad time I had doing this. Yeah, just to show you how much of a bad time I had. I am just going to tell you my rotation keys stopped working midway. I mean, now they're working, but a few seconds ago they weren't. Yeah. I mean, it was definitely hard to build a maze when you didn't know where you were putting something. But... I managed it with great difficulty. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm serious. It was difficult. Okay. Well, that was my first shop and that was a gulpy slush. Is it called a slush? Yeah, I'm going to call it a slush. This is pip shot water. Just plain old water. Okay. And I'm not going to be adding shop signs because, you know, why? I don't want to add them here because, you know, it's... The signs are literally larger than the shops. Planet Coaster, for some reason, couldn't come up with a sign that was the size of a shop. So, I had to skip the signs. And now I'm adding my third shop, which is not exactly a shop. It's an information booth. And that's probably very important because, you know, you want to get your fast track pass. But more importantly, you want to find your way out of this maze. So, yeah. The information booth is definitely a good idea. And right here on the slope, I had a very hard time because it is, for some reason, always connecting to the path next to it. So, yeah, I had to delete a lot of things, but at the end of the day, it worked. So, yeah. And you'll probably be wondering why I'm even adding a slope. I mean, obviously, that's to get the brave souls who entered the maze to the top of the building but at the top of the building i am going to be adding flat rides but of course they're not going to be any flat rides they are going to be the exact same flat rides that i that the maze took place sorry what no that were over here simple as that okay I am going to be adding a top spin 
with water effects and I'm going to be adding the cube ride and yes I am going to be naming them their I'm going to be giving them their respective names next video although I'm still going to be keeping homeostasis for top spin because you know it does make sense for a ride like this because well it keeps you off balance throughout the ride you know unlike the cube where you just go round and round in three ways here in top spin you just i mean it's not just but in top spin you go round and round in just one axis but you do it at such a high speed that you know it messes with your brain a lot more than the cube does so that's why top spin makes you more off balance and therefore it is worthy of the title homeostasis yep all right now back to the paths yeah i am happy with how this is turning out it looks real nice and it looks like a maze and it looks like a maze that no one can get out of which is perfectly awesome actually it's not perfectly fine it's perfectly awesome i've never used that phrase before okay i'm just gonna say this is awesome i've never made a maze before and i'm certainly very happy with how this is turned out this is so good i mean i don't know maybe i'll do a video of a guest trying to conquer the maze and probably failing miserably but let's see it'll be a very interesting way to do something you know just have a, another video where i showcase the maze that'll really be quite cool actually and here i am finishing off the maze with a roof yes so that no guest climbs over the four meter wall i know no one can do that but for all you know they might so just in case yeah and i am gonna add a roof trim no not a roof trim i am gonna add a wall extension and a roof extension because i want because why not and also because i want to make sure those railings are invisible yep oh i have to take care of that well that's all i have for you today this is coaster master signing out and i'll see you next time on building an indoor theme park part eight